The truth is, business is screwed if we don't fix climate change. I'm a huge fan of capitalism at its best. After all, I'm an economist and a business school professor. I think genuinely free and fair markets are one of the great inventions of the human race. But here's the catch. Markets only work their magic when prices reflect real costs. And right now, prices are badly out of whack. We're letting the firms who sell fossil fuels, and indeed anyone who emits greenhouse gases, cause enormous damage for which they do not have to pay. And that is hardly fair. I think business should step up. I think business should fix capitalism. I know, some of you are probably thinking, fat chance. But fixing this is squarely in the private sector's interest. The truth is, business is screwed if we don't fix climate change. It's going to be hard to make money when the great coastal cities are underwater and millions of angry people are migrating north as the harvests fail. It's going to be tough to keep free enterprise alive if most people believe the rich and the white are using it to trash the planet for their own benefit. So let me tell you what this looks like on the ground. My friend Eric Osmundson left a cushy job in private equity to become the CEO of a garbage company. That sounds like a slightly odd idea, but Eric wanted to make a difference and changing the way that trash is handled could reduce emissions by billions of tons. Right away, he ran into a massive problem. The industry was thoroughly corrupt. Firms were cutting costs by dumping waste illegally. The regulations were poorly enforced and the fines for violation were tiny. Eric announced he was going to run clean and to raise prices to cover the costs of doing so. Many of his senior team thought he was crazy. Half of them quit. So did many of his customers. His competitors denounced him for bringing the industry into disrepute, and he started to receive personal threats. But corruption works best when it's hidden. As soon as Eric went public, people started to step up. A few customers were willing to pay more. His investors agreed that taking the high road could pay off. Those of his employees who remained loved the idea of taking a stand and found all kinds of legal ways to cut costs. Eric persuaded several of his competitors to join him in refusing to dispose of garbage illegally, and it got much tougher for regulators to stay on the sidelines. Today, Eric's company, Norsk Genvinning, is one of the largest recycling companies in Scandinavia. Let me generalize. These are the four pillars of change. Build a business that can set the right price and still be profitable. Persuade your competitors to do the same thing. Make sure that investors understand there's money to be made. And push governments to put the right price into law so that bottom feeders can't survive. Instead of giving up on capitalism, let's fix it by making sure that markets are truly fair and truly free and that no one can dump garbage on us and walk away without paying for it. We have the resources and the technology to solve climate change.